Hey everybody, um, just wanted to update you on a couple more holsters that I just finished. Uh, did these two this morning. Um, did a J-frame and a Springfield XDS, which is a really nice weapon. I think I'm going to wind up buying one of them. I really like it. It's a 45 caliber. Um, customer wanted all black, obviously. Um, put a high sweat shield on the back of this one. Revolvers make it a little more challenging just because of that inherent shape that they have. You have to make that mouth wide enough that you're going to get that um, cylinder through there. But I figured it out. We got it done. Came out great. Uh, excellent retention in, in both of them. Um, i got to get a real video camera here instead of my phone. That way I can actually show you without... Let me try here. Hold on a second. Of course, all my weapons are... All the weapons I work on are empty in my shop. Bear with me a second here while I try to prop this camera up here on my phone. So, this is the, I can't really see it. Well, anyway. Good positive retention. When you're sliding it back in, you can hear it click. That's in there. That's not going to fall out of my but You could be running, jogging, rolling on the ground with a bad guy. And that gun's not going to fall out on you. Um, oh, once again, I'll just close my mouth and kind of move this around here so you can see the attention to detail I put into this. I keep the bottoms open, usually, uh, unless someone specifically says they want it closed. A dust bunny on that one. I keep it open so if debris gets in there, it has a place to exit out. Like I said, that came out pretty good. And I mold it so it conforms close to your body. So it's not going to be uh, sticking out or anything. You'll, you'll basically forget it's there. Um, it's so comfortable. It really is. This is that XDS for the same customer. And like I said, it came out just as good. I mean, those those edges together there, they're they're like one sheet of glass. I put a lot of love into these holsters. I take a little more time, try to polish everything up so it looks real nice. The only maintenance you have to do to these holsters is when you clean your gun, I usually just take some gun oil, rub it over top of it. That shines it up a little bit, cleans it up nice. And uh, rub the inside out. Maybe take an air compressor and blow out the any dust that's in there periodically. Other than that, that's about it. Um, if you get something on it, you could just take regular dish soap and a towel and wash it off um, with no problems there. So that's all. I just wanted to update you guys. Check it out. You can get your own at keyscustomholsters.com. I'll put the link below. Thanks for looking.